the prospect generator model. It's, it's a fairly common one out there for junior miners. Uh, what are the pros and cons of the model? Well, the pros are uh, that a company with a cadre of geologists and particular expertise in a commodity region of the world, a deposit type, etc., can go out and do reconnaissance exploration and pick up properties of merit, which they then uh, join venture to other companies to spend their money to earn in. I That's the advantage, so they very much preserve their own capital and their share structure because they're not constantly diluting with equity finance. Financings. The downside of that, well, of course, you give away the majority of everything you have. So you're, you're going to end up with, say, 20 or 30 percent of every project. But if you have a bunch of good geologists who are generating good projects, it's a win-win situation for both companies. Uh, and I think, personally, that the positives far outweigh the negatives of the prospect generator model. Uh is it is it an uncommon model or, or? Uh, it's not particularly an uncommon model now. It's kind of become the flavor of the last year or two. So you see more and more companies going into the prospect generator model and, and new companies starting out as prospect generators. Uh, it was not very particularly well known, uh, say, prior to the past couple of years. But there are a couple of very long-lived prospect generators. For instance, Almond and Minerals has been around with this model since 1986. Uh, one of my favorite companies, a company that I cover and I own shares of. So would you say with prospect, with all juniors, but with prospect generators in particular, uh, the people are the most important thing to look for for investors? Well, I don't always think the people are the most important thing. They are certainly very important. I, being a field geologist, judge companies immediately by their projects because I can eliminate more quickly by rejecting the projects they're involved with. But certainly the people are very important and the geologists on the ground exploring are very important the prospect generator model. A couple uh, that I am very bullish on right now, and one that I've just covered, is uh, Avrupa Minerals. It's a new company launched in July from a CPC, trading about 43 cents with 16 million shares outstanding. So it's got a market cap of $7 million. It's got four properties in Kosovo and four in Portugal. So these are relatively unexplored parts of the world that are amenable with geologic potential to finding big base metal deposits. Uh, so if you want to play a company involved in southern and eastern Europe, I'd suggest that people take a look at Avrupa Minerals. Once again, it's a sponsor of my website and I am a shareholder of Avrupa. Are, were there any others? or? Uh, one other one I very much like is Tarsus Resources, and they are in the hottest part of the world for gold exploration, the Yukon, a relatively young company, again with a very tightly held share structure, and uh, it's gone up quite a bit. I think it's trading in the 70 cent range now, uh, but with only, say, 25 million shares out, uh, it still has a very low market cap. It's got 15 properties of merit in the Yukon that are available for joint venture and a couple of those have been joint venture. They are staking ground as we speak right now via helicopter in the Yukon so I would expect good things out of Tarsus Resources uh, during the summer months.